I'm Nina, Bonina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> The bitches of Mac. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Mac. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm Erica. What's I'm Beyonce. Nice to meet you, Beyonce. What can I help you find today? Well, you know, I don't even know why I'm here because, I mean, I'm already such a bad bitch. But, you know, I feel like I'm getting a little old. Okay. Not as old as you. Um, and okay. I just feel like, you know, my skin's getting a little dry and I just need a little moisturizer. Okay, all right. Well, what are you currently using for your skincare? We have tons of um, moisturizers. A little Crisco, a little cocoa butter. Okay, are you frying chicken? Um, you know, well, you know, it's two in one. A fried chicken can get a nice moisturizer. And all in one, girl, it just works out for me. Okay, nice. Well, I have something even better for you. We have a moisturizer called Complete Comfort Cream. Oh my God, I I'm think... beautiful. Hold on, give me a second. You're, 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 you're nice. You're okay. Thank you. You're oh, welcome. That's so useful. So, is the bird, um, is, what's your bird's name? cock a doo doo, -doo. Okay. So, can you, so, like, a girl like me, do I need contour? Because I mean, I already have cheekbones that are just thickening. I have several moisturizers that are specifically targeted. Well, I'm naturally beautiful, so I don't need too much coverage. Okay. So, just something to like because I'm already beautiful, so. You are gorgeous. Thank you, I know. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. So, these are our moisturizers right here because you always want to start with um, a good skincare, just base to take care of that beautiful skin. Thank and you. then we can work towards the foundation. Are you doing that to your skin? Because it's feeling kind of bad. But it's like, you know, I don't want to take your advice and you're not really doing nothing to your face. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I am a licensed esthetician, so I think I do know a little bit about skincare. But, you know, the customer's always right. What can I say? Um, first, what I would like to do is start with a makeup wipe. And I just want to remove everything. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, piggies. We are speaking today about the Witches remake. And I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's get to it. Well, damn, I'm really feeling myself, ain't I? We'll talk about it once this guy gets done stinking up the place. Well, now that he's done stinking up the place, let's get to some of these classics before I get to the main event. Halloween is one of my favorite time of the years, and it's brought such wonderful things, such classics as Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween. Carrie, one of my favorites. The Black Man. Okay, I'm just kidding. The Candy Man. But he doesn't have any candy, though. And y'all know this is my favorite. Child's Play. You know I like me a killer doll movie. Okay? But I even secretly love, publicly love the remake, Sue Me, that people hated. But... Every Halloween, I look forward to The Witches with Angelica Houston. And they don't play it as much as they used to. Some of y'all love Hocus Pocus. And I do too. But The Witches is better. Sue me. You know, it's really hard to believe that The Witches came out in 1990. Because it has this 80s charm to it. And you know how you have those movies that you always look forward to, to see. And The Witches was always one of those things. And it's considered to be a dark fantasy comedy. I put it up there. Oh, God damn. What the hell is that? God damn, you ugly. Sorry. <laughs> but I put it up there with those classics that I love. Like, even like Death Becomes Her. And it's just an amazing film that I think everybody should watch. I haven't had the chance to read the book by Raul Dahl. But it's amazing. And speaking of Raul Dahl, you know, he's the author of this story. And we know he is a classic, classic, classic talent. You, he's brought us such wonderful things like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. James and the Giant Peach. The Witches. And then when you have the magic of also Jim Henson, the legend himself that has made all of our childhoods wonderful with all his creativity and dark crystals and all those things. And you put them together and this is one of Jim Henson's last films that he worked on. So rest in peace to both of them. You have the magic of the witches. Like you can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with this at all. But the story of the witches is witches hate children and they kill children they dress as ordinary women but underneath their their exterior their interior is this evil haggard being that just hate children and wants to turn them all the mice and destroy them and can i just say some of the mice as you see were very grotesque like what the hell was jim henson on this is some crazy crazy stuff but then also a little cute but 
really, guys, it's an amazing film, and it honestly deserved the reboot. And right here, you see, this is where they shot most of it, in the Headland Hotel that I really wanted to go to while I was in the UK, but people didn't take me, and trust me, they're on my block list. Ugh! And you see the puppeteering of this? It's been said that Angelica had to take, be in six hours to get into that makeup, and also another six hours to get out of it, and all she wanted to do was cry. The whole story is just great. Like, if you believe in any kind of magic, this is what you need to watch. The acting is great. The puppeteering is great. The practical effects. The casting. The scenery. Like, everything is great, which is why this 2020 remake, or 2021, they keep changing the date, has to do great. And Anne Hathaway has some big prosthetic to feel some big shoes to feel and let's just get further into this video so i can speak more about it and i'm just excited for you guys to be here and watch and do this with me so stay tuned you guys you um i'm so excited and i just can't hide it I know, I know, I know. I think I'm excited. You guys have no idea. Hold on. First off, welcome back to my channel, all you greasy, dirty, nasty piggies. It is I, Pierre. AKA Nina Bonina Brown and welcome back to my town because it's time to shut it down. I am excited, you guys. This is going to be a quick little review, little just me rambling and jambling about the reboot of the movie Witches. You guys like those people that have been following me know that I am a big fan of Raul Dahl's witches. You will always see a rich. That's why I have my purple eyes because in the movie Witches, they were known for their purple eyes. That's how you could spot out the witches. They're square, because they had no toes. It was square feet and their purple eyes and their itchy scalps because they were bald and put on wigs. But I am telling you, you can never be sure if it's a witch you are looking at or a kind lady. Basically drag queens. When I think about it, was Raul Dowell a drag queen in the making? Let's see, but, but if he was a, then that would, no, no, N no. You don't say. Maybe Raul Dow was a damn drag queen doing his thing. Okay. Anyway. Guys, sorry, I'm going to be snacking and yapping. Snapping and yakking. I'm just, I was just minding my business the other day. You know, being black, depressed, miserable. And my Caucasian Judy came out of nowhere with a text and was like, look at this. I'm like, what? She's showing me another goddamn used tampon, because I can't. I can't. And I was swiping through all her naked pictures. And I saw it with my own two eyes and two contacts. The poster, it's a leaked poster. See, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this because it's a leaked, I have leaked information. A leaked poster of the Alleged poster for the new reboot of The Witches. Here's a picture. First, let's get into this photo because I'm like, wait, what if it's not real? What if it's 
Photoshop. What if this is just because, like, how is this already leaked? How did this get leaked? Did somebody inside do it? But it says October 9th. I don't know if that meant it was supposed to come out this year or next year. But either way, I remember hearing rumors about them doing like a witch's reboot and I was like okay you know it's like little words about it and then time went on you heard a little more about it because I was you know I was I was looking because I'm a big witch's fan I remember hearing Anne Hathaway possibly being the Grand High Witch and I'm like I know that Anne Hathaway is a good actress but Angelica Houston is like a uh, bad bitch you are in for a treat I mean, there's no other way of putting it. She's legendary. She's an icon. She's played some iconic roles. Just on top, like, you know, as far as, like, big movie-wise, Morticia Adams. The Grand High Witch. That bitch. And she just has a, like, don't with me face. And her voice. She's able to do these, do this like very just like this very witchy voice. You may remove your feet, <laughs> but an Angelic and, and when I think about Anne Hathaway, I think about oh little American next door girl doing her thing. <sighs> but she's an actress, so she should be able to pay it off. Can we just get into this look really quick? Which there's already some controversy because I saw a little bit of controversy. There was a drag queen, Sherry Vine. Oh, Sherry Vine. It's the drag queen, Sherry Vine. And she's claiming somehow she saw this leaked poster too. She says that something looks very familiar. My dress 2019 and Hathaway 2020. Don't get me wrong. She looks stunning. And yes, I did rip off a Shirley Bassey dress from the early 1970s. But at least I changed the color. Even the wig is a little similar. Now, I need to see this original picture of Shirley Bassey. Hold on. Honestly, sorry, y'all. I was trying to find the dress. I can't find her dress. I mean, most likely it could be that whoever is behind the team of the designs for this new witches maybe could have got it from the Shirley Bassey person. But there are a lot of things that are constantly ripped off from drag queens. And, like, people will take stuff from drag queens, will take things from drag queens, but not give any credit or anything. And act like they came up with it on their own. So I wouldn't be surprised. But anyway, the dress is bad bitch. It's bad bitch. It's bad bitch. It's sickening. I can actually see the lady from Death Become Her, the one that was like, the, like had the black bob and the, bread, the, the boobs out and the big old collar and she was giving you everything. I can see her wearing this. The only thing I'm a little iffy about is like the blonde hair. Like, I don't know if I want to see the Grand High Witch in blonde hair. And Claire, she claims, when I look at it, I'm like, okay, I see it, I guess. It could just be just her skin. But like, if you look close to her mouth, it's two lines, like a Joker kind of thing. Which could be because we know that that's not her true form. Right? Underneath all that gorgeousness, is an ugly, gruesome witch. Because witches don't wear feet. <laughs> anyway, so it could be that that's how she's able to take her face off and reveal her true self, which I am dying to know how her final grand form is going to look because we know how the witch looked on the original. Jim Henson and them did that. They did that. Like, they did that. So they have a lot to live up to, but just this fashion and, and even though the Grand High Witch in the original by Angelica Houston was a diva in her own right, it was more like, oh, timey, you know, this is more up to date, more current. Um, just to go off of what I just said, um, I think this is going to be set in 1960s Alabama. So like kind of back in the day, but she still looks current to me. Let's move on to Octavia Spencer. And she's a great actress as well. We know her from a lot of movies. The last one I saw her was in Ma, which was okay. 
But um, at first when I saw this, I'm like, wait, is she playing the little like maid sidekick that Angelica Houston had in the movie? But no, when I finally read up on it, she's re she's playing the grandma of Luke. Which I don't even know if the person playing Luke this time is going to be named Luke. Because just really quick, let me just show you him. It was just announced, like this is April 8th. Yeah, that um, we are delighted to announce that Joseph Zenyemba, Zenyemba will be making his feature film debut and Raw Dolls Witches coming October 2020. Wait. 2020? Was it planned for 2020? Now. Can't be. I think it's 2021. But anyway, I guess he's playing, I think he's playing Luke. Because um, this time they're making it a little more black. You know, now all these movies now are trying to make things right and include more black people and things like that, you know, which is nice, you know. Plus, um, I believe it's set in Alabama. I know it was filmed in Alabama. So, yeah, because I think in the original, it had to probably be, if I had to guess, was there any black people? Maybe one black witch in the audience that was sitting in the like grand ballroom? It was you? So, congratulations to Joseph because you are taking on a movie that was like a big part of my childhood. Like, Octavia Spencer is playing the grandmother of him. And I think she's gonna do a good job because I love, I love, 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 love May Zetterling as the grandmother in Witches. The original one. I thought she was just a grandma. She was a grandma. Like, she was a grandma. I think she played in another movie that I like called, like, where they had to, like, they're trying to build their perfect grandma and, like, they, like, went to this factory and they chose the eyes, the nose, the lips, everything in her personality. This is, like, old movie. But anyway, I loved her as a grandma. So, Octavia Spencer, I think she'll do a good job. I think she'll do a good job. Moving on to Stanley Tucci. The Tuki, Tucci, Touche. He's playing the role of Mr. Stringer, played by the original Mr. Bean. So he has a lot of shoes to fill with that because Mr. Bean was a great character in that movie. And I think Stanley will do a good job as well. Because he already has given me the very, like, no peas in my mashed potatoes. Like, <laughs> so I'm like, I'm kind of like, Arr. my friend and my crack-headed so-called daughter, Aline, says that, <laughs> he said, what is Coco Peru doing in the background? <laughs> I don't think that's Coco Peru. I think it is somebody that maybe looked like her, but that's not her. Because then I'll be like, this is fake. But yeah, just in the back, you could tell this is a really eclectic group of witches, all different races. So I'm like kind of happy about that. Moving on to the just the logo. Can we say it's sickening? Can we just can we all just agree on that it's sickening? The little witch holding the mouse, the little W holding the mouse. That's that's everything. Everything. Good job. Moving on to the mice at the bottom of the screen, though. I'm like, this is why I was kind of like, is it Photoshop? Because the mice look like the mice from the original movie that Jim Henson made. Which is like, they have a lot of shoes to fill once again because we all know Jim Henson was a legend, an icon. His puppeteering work was everything. And the witches relied on a lot of like practical effects. So I'm gonna assume this is gonna do the same thing because the mice look like practical effect mice. But I wouldn't mind a little CGI as well because I mean, we are in the future, you know, they can make things look a little better, a little more smoother, if you will. But still the gritty itty of the early 90s and 80s was everything. It's weird because like, I'm gonna just go over the cast real quick. It's weird because it said that it's a, somebody named Jazir Kadeem Bruno as the boy. I'm assuming the boy is Luke, the original little boy in the original movie. 
But then I just told y'all that they just said, congratulate. They didn't say who his character is, but I'm, I'm assuming this is who it is. I'm assuming his character is Luke. And once again, his name is Joseph Zen Yimba, not Jazer Kadim. I don't know, but they just have it as the boy. And we know Anne Hathaway is at the Grand High Witch, Octavia Spencer is the grandmother, Stanley Tucci, da da da. It says Chris Rock. And I think that like, this is just added. Chris Rock is in the movie. Who will he be? I have no idea. Why is he there? I know he's been like into like the horror things now. Cause like, you know, he, he redid like the Saw movie. I'm like, but okay. And then somebody named Cody Lay Eastick as Bruno Jenkins, a little chubby boy that was like, chocolate. That lady over there promised me chocolate. And she was getting all mad and I said 6.15. And that is in 15 seconds from now. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, ooh, ew. That was me reacting out the boy turning into a mouse and... That lady promised me six whole bars of cream whip hazelnut milk chocolate. Five! I can't even four, see any chocolate! Three, well, one of you please tell me one, one. Zero. <laughs> Then we have uh, Charles Edwards and Morgana Robinson playing Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins, the little bougie, snoozy people that were Bruno Jenkins' mom and father. Remember the little bougie guy that like thought he owned everything and wanted the, he didn't want the crisp soup. He wanted what the witches were having. And the grandma was like trying to warn him like, no, you'll turn to a mouse. They, they thought she was crazy. Anyway. Bruno. Bruno has been turned into. He has not been turned into a mouse. Yes, I have. Hello, Dad. <laughs> They're playing them, and from what I can see, the guy that's playing Mr. Jenkins looks older, and the one playing the mother looks really young. So maybe it's some kind of like sugar daddy thing going on this time around. Morgana does kind of look like the original lady that played in the original movie, so I'm kind of like, okay. We have somebody named Eugenia Caruso as Consuela. I don't know who Consuela is, but if I had to guess, she's probably gonna take the role of the maid or whatever that was in love with Mr. Bean in the movie. And she, and she tried to go into the Grand High Witch room and she thought it was perfume in this book and put it on her neck and was growing fur. And she was like, ee, ee. Um, <laughs> I told y'all I love the movie. <laughs> I'm assuming, but this time around, she's Latina or Mexican. Then Simon Mayanda, Simon Mayanda as Su Chef. He was the chef, I believe, in the original movie, who was like the head chef, and the mouse went up his pants, and he was like going crazy, and they were like trying to hit him with a broom, and he was all on the ground taking his pants off, and his boxers were slightly open, and I could see that it was a man. A man of many mirrors. Oh. Sorry. So yeah, I'm assuming he's playing him. So yeah. So guys, I am just excited. Like from what I know, like it's gonna be, they're going closer to the novel, which I never got the chance to read the novel, but if the novel is as great as the movie was, here's the thing, Raul Dahl, he didn't like anything. Anything, any kind of uh, adaptations of any of his movies, I mean, of any of his books, because he didn't like the witches that much either because he didn't like how in the ending of the movie version, they allowed, spoiler alert, they um, made Luke turn back to a boy because like he was turned to a mouse during the movie. Um, and at the end of, you know, the movie, he, the, the, the witch that was like Angelica's little side bitch was nice and came back and turned Luke back to a boy. And he didn't like that because in the book, Luke remained a mouse for the rest of his life, which is sad. So I'm kind of glad they did change it in the movie, but they're saying that they're gonna go with more of the original take of the novel. 
And I think the novel's creepier, I think. Plus he stayed a mouse in the novel, so we'll see. We'll see. But I know that this is not some of y'all's cup of tea being here, watching these kind of videos. But I'm glad for the ones who are here to watch it. And I hope that y'all are excited because in my opinion, the witches kicks Hocus Pocus ass. Fight me. If y'all want to have a battle in the comment section between what's better, Hocus Pocus or witches, let's fight. I and Don't get me wrong. I love Hocus Pocus. To come with me na, 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 to a land of enchantment. <laughs> like, I love the movie. I do. And I think they're making a remake of that movie too. But the witches just has nostalgia and just magic just all up in it it's just awesome and if, if y'all haven't seen the witches make sure you watch it and are y'all excited for the reboot for the ones who have watched it and i'll be doing some more updates as the time goes on but thank y'all for being here once again thank y'all for allowing me the space to just speak about things that i am that i enjoy and as always stay beat stay beautiful and stay blessed Kima Cho.